Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how you can use VLC Media Player to save freeze frames of your videos as photos so you can post them to Facebook or email them to friends or just basically whatever you want to do with the, uh, with the still images from your video clips. So what I've got here, I got VLC Media Player. If you don't have it, you can go online and download it. It's completely free and it's an awesome video player. It plays all kinds of formats and uh, it's really it loads really quickly. It's, it's a great little player so get that and then you have to set it up to save images. Uh, as you can see down here on the bottom of mine I have a record button and a take a snapshot button. Now these aren't necessarily enabled by default so to get them right click on the bottom on any of the toolbars and go up to tools and then hit custom interface then on the left here you'll see all of the options and things that uh, buttons and stuff and then on the main toolbar you'll see your toolbar setup as well as um, so where things go so basically just come down here take the snapshot and drag it into um, a different line so if you want to put it on line one or on line two it doesn't really matter just drop it in there and then when you're done, um, close it and it will show up just like mine does here. Once you've got it set up, um, sc scrub through your video or play your video. I'm going to slow mine down so I have a better chance of stopping on the on the clip I want. So I'm going to use the uh, minus key or the dash key to slow my video down to 50%. Then I'm going to use the space bar to play and I'm going to take this frame Oh, I don't know. How about we get... There's one coming up here I think I want. Oh, that one. That one looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so we'll take this frame, and then we're just going to come down here, and we're going to click on the snapshot button. And then we'll see that it's been saved to... Um, it gives you the file path there. Normally it gets saved to... Pictures, and then VLC snapshot and that's the name of it. So now if you go in to open up my pictures now if we go now if we go and open up my pictures we will see that the video or the, the still image here has been saved and we can open it up and now we simply have a still image. We can do this as many times as we want throughout the video clip um, and it doesn't do anything to the video clip it simply just takes snapshots of the video clip and saves them as image files. Uh, really handy if you want to share with people what you've been doing or you want to take uh, simply just take still images uh, that look really awesome from your from your video footage. So that's how you could do it. That's a really quick and easy way to do it and that ensures that you get the full resolution out of the video file. If you take uh, screenshots you may not be getting the full resolution of the video file. If you do this you will get the full resolution that the, the video file can um, can provide. So, until next time, make sure you subscribe, like the video, check out my channel for lots more videos, and most of all guys, thanks for watching.